my fellow Amer my my fellow Americans. Oh, I can't do Bill Clinton impressions at all. Hi, and welcome to Tour Guide TV. I'm Kelsey, and here we do world-class training for world-class tour guides. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about the 42nd president of the United States, Bill Clinton, and what he can teach us about being great tour guides. Now, I'm not talking about the time when you may have accidentally, you know, hooked up with somebody on a tour, kind of super inappropriately. Uh, I'm afraid you're on your own for that. And I'm not too sure that Bill has the best advice on that either. Yeah, it depends upon what the meaning of the word is. Yes. What? Let, let's stay focused. Personal shenanigans from a long time ago aside, there's pretty much universal consensus that Bill Clinton is one of the most powerful, likable, and charismatic public speakers of our generation. So let's take a moment to appreciate exactly what Bill Clinton does while he's speaking. I'm going to put a link below to a speech from 2012. This was in Charlotte when he was trying to get Obama re-elected. Now this clip has been widely analyzed and is lauded as one of his better performances during that whole campaign and really one of the, his best speeches in the last five or six years. I first saw this analyzed in the blog of Tim Ferriss, but you can find all kinds of Bill Clinton analysis on the web. I'm going to give you four things to look for, techniques that we can watch for. Clinton is a master of making you feel like you're the only one in the room when he's talking just to you in the audience as if to a friend. A more casual type of speech. He uses personal stories, intimate observations to build a case instead of using rigid logic and argumentation like you would in a courtroom. What can we learn? Use Clinton-esque short informal phrases to make your speaking feel more natural and as if to friends. Some examples might include, and I'll tell you another thing, or, now wait, I know what you're all thinking. Two, ad lib and go off script. Bill Clinton, in this speech below, you'll notice many times he seems to walk away from the teleprompters and goes ad libbing. Actually, later on, when journalists got their hands in the actual script, they saw that over 15% of his speech was made up on the spot by Bill Clinton responding to his audience. The takeaway? Lose the feeling of a canned or a memorized speech by referencing people's names, uh, knowing their interests, and maybe have a reoccurring joke that comes back over the course of the tour. Three, pacing. Notice how Bill Clinton will speed up or slow down to suit his needs. With no fear of dead air, he'll add emphasis to a line like this. This is one of my favorite lines. Now listen to me. No one. And I mean no one, not me, not any of my predecessors, could have repaired or stopped the economic damage done. Analyze the pacing of your speech or tour and see where it makes sense to speed up or slow down, maybe slowing at a sad or tragic part. And where can you build some excitement and enthusiasm by talking a little bit quicker and getting a little more animated? And lastly, body language. Even if you only watch a few minutes of the below video, you're going to see how Bill Clinton uses his whole body to get his message across. Here's some examples to watch for my favorites. He uh, bites his lip uh, in frustration on the line, I think he says, but they refuse to compromise. He's a lip biter. Watch for it. What can we learn? Tell stories with your full body and use rich facial expressions. So, if you're ready to watch the master in action, click the link below, but beware, the full clip is about 49 minutes long. And remember, we don't want to mimic Bill Clinton's style, but we can certainly emulate the things he does, the things he do. And what he do? Well, he do personalization, he does ad-libbing, just like we did right there. Uh, he also does body language very well and pacing. So that's all for today, but after you have a look at that video, come on back and let me know in the comments what you saw, what can we learn from Bill Clinton. And of course, if you like the content, subscribe below. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. What can we learn? Tell bodies, <laughs> tell bodies with your whole story. <laughs>